So why are hormones so important to balance? Optimize and make sure everything is working like it should be. I'm gonna explain it all to you so you guys know why hormones need to be balanced, need to be optimized for your quality of life to improve. It's Halloween, October 31st. That means everybody should bring out their inner child and dress up as their favorite character or whatever they want. This is the one day of the year. It's totally acceptable for you to do so. So you girls want to wear that hot outfit outside? Go right ahead. You want to dress up as a superhero? Go right ahead. You want to dress up as somebody else? Go right ahead. It's totally up to you. So at this point, I hope you guys are having fun. You can even cheat and eat some candy today. So get excited, get ready. It's Halloween, and you know Titan's gonna do it right. It's Saturday night, and we get an extra hour. Forget about it. So stay tuned, we got a lot of great coverage. You guys are gonna just gonna. What are you up to, dude? You know, I make sure my shit laid, laid right. You know, I always like to um condition about 45 minutes for the beard, but the hair. 145, I gotta keep it right. Get that thing for at least a half an hour. You know, type medical center had super serum, huh? Came out at the best 
costume contest for the group. Congratulations. They are gonna win $500 in cash. $500 party to water. $250 value to cards and couture. Which Titan Rainbow Center is also going to sponsor up. So congratulations, Witch Doctors. And enjoy your prizes. Best costume. No, no, this guy did a really good job. So the best costume, this was pretty good. I mean, I know this guy, and when he came up to me, I was like, well, I don't know who you are. And then he had to tell me, I was like, oh my God, that's a really good costume. So this one is worth $2,000 in cash and prizes. The best costume goes to... Avatar! Yeah! Who doesn't like Avatar? Come on! You wouldn't know who this guy is, but that's how good the makeup, the prosthetics were. He nailed it. Avatar. So, Avatar is going to get $1,000 in cash. He's going to get a $500 part of the water. And this is a $600 gift to Titan Medical Center. And if you guys don't know the Titan Medical Center, you guys need to go check it out. TitanMedicalCenter.com, guys. So guys, man, this is the end of the night. It's been one heck of a night. Halloween, Ooh. Saturday night. We came, we saw, we conquered, we even judged the Halloween costume contest. Oh yeah. And we picked the winners. Two contests. It was, yeah, there's been two contests today. One hit tonight. What a heck of an event. Setup was awesome. Big shout out to Mike, Corey, all the Pied Piper family out there. Big shout out to Titan Medical Center and the family that showed up tonight representing super soldiers, good people great vibes and just one heck of a time. So we created a lot of great memories tonight. I'm really excited. Halloween's a great time and I'm glad to be sharing it with these people right next to me. Yes. And we got an extra hour. Oh, so guys, yes. we're happy you guys join us on this, this journey, you know, it's virtual or through the camera. Get ready, because we got a lot more events coming at you. TitanMedicalCenter.com, you guys check that out. And wait for all the new content that we got coming towards you guys. See you later. See you then. Thank you for coming to Halloween 17. So let me tell you guys why it's so important to have your hormones balanced, optimized, and running like the way they should be. Hormones control almost everything that goes on in your body. That's right, from the way your brain functions, down to the way your body looks, metabolism-wise, cardiovascular-wise, and a lot, lot more. So have your hormones optimized or balanced, right? or the way they should be, is going to help you guys improve your quality of life through a number of different ways. So let's talk about energy levels. So if you're feeling down and you don't feel like you have that much energy, this could be hormone related. Depression, you're feeling in a dark place, you don't know why, you're unmotivated, this could be directly due to hormones. The way your skin is, the way your hair is, your libido, okay? The way that you're functioning every day has to do with hormones. And having some of these hormones that are unbalanced or unchecked or deficient are going to be a direct reflect on the way that you feel and the way that you look. So if you want to improve your quality of life, if you want to feel the best, perform your best and look the best you possibly can, that's where you need hormone balance, hormone optimization so that you're working at the best your body possibly can. So it's real easy and simple to find out too. All we have to do is do a blood test and we can set you up nationwide to see where these hormones are at. Are they at the bottom of the barrel? Are they deficient? Is something out of whack or out of balance? We'll make sure that we get your hormones all in check. It's ultimately gonna come down to your body being harmonically balanced. Your body's like an ecosystem. So if one thing's off, it's gonna throw other things off too as well. Don't worry, Titan Medical Center's got your back and we'll find out if these problems are happening inside of you. All you gotta do is give us a call or text, 727-389-3220, and say, listen, I wanna get my hormones in check, I wanna make sure they're balanced, and I wanna make sure that I'm working the best my body possibly can. Call us today.
What's up guys, John and Sharice here, and we are at the Coliseum down here in St. Petersburg, Florida for the Hurricane Bay, that's right. So Tim Gardner's Productions, put on and sponsored by Titan Medical Center. We're here for the night show right now, which is the finals to see the winners, and obviously talk about what Titan Medical Center is all about. We've had our crew here all day long representing, doing free giveaways, signing up for the newsletters, taking pictures, and a lot, lot more. So, we're excited to get in there, see who the winners are. It's a beautiful night here in Florida. We're excited. We're gonna see what's up in there, say hi to some people, and see who the winners are, and talk about how Tight Medical Center can help you and them feel better, look better, perform better. So come on in with us, go inside, and let's see what's going on. Let's do it. How you doing, Shannon? Hi guys, my name's John. This is my beautiful wife, Sharice, and we're the owners of Type Medical Center. We can help you guys feel better, look better, and perform better with a number of our different therapies and services, ranging from hormone replacement therapy for males and females, medical weight loss, vitamin amino acid injectable therapies that are custom and signature just to our Titan patients, libido enhancers for males and females because we both want to feel the best we possibly can, peptides, healing peptides, weight loss peptides, and healing peptides. Also guys, blood work nationwide. Anywhere you guys are at, we can help you out with the most inexpensive and extensive blood panels out there. So we're nationwide service. If you guys need us, or you guys think you guys can help, or we can benefit you, 727-389-3220. Please call or text us. I wanna take a minute to thank Tim Gardner. He has been around, now Thai Medical Center has been open for a decade. Yeah. actually believe that. And Tim has been around for quite some time, so yeah. I want to give a big thank you to Tim. Tim for always, always, always giving us all the support, all the love. I need all the support, all the love. It means everything to us. Thank you for always having us. And thank you guys to everybody that made this happen and everybody that's there from the judges to the crowd and to the athletes as well. Okay, guys? And don't forget, check out our new website, tightmedicalcenter.com. You guys are going to love it. And please give us a call or text and we can help you guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Shan. Thank you. thank you. That's a wrap, guys. So the show is finishing up. We're here at the booth, shutting down everything. It's been a great show, Tim Gardner Productions, Hurricane Bay 2021. Awesome show, congratulations to everybody that won this show and competed. Big shout out to Tim Gardner and Tim Gardner Productions and everybody else is involved. Big shout out to all my Titan team and Titanettes out there, including what's behind the cameras and everybody that was involved with making this a successful Titan Medical Center event. If you guys missed it this year, come out and visit next year and come see us. Or check our schedule out and check out all of our other events that we got coming up. All right? I'm John from Titan, and we'll see you next event at Titan Medical Center booth. See ya. What's up, guys? John here with Big Drew. And uh, we're always on the go, as you can see. We're getting ready to go somewhere right now. Always. Uh, always. Always busy. Always doing something, right? So at that point, we get the question a lot. Hey, John, if we're on the go or we don't have any food by us right now, we need to eat. What could be a good alternative to fast food out there? Because there's a lot of fast food options. You can go into gas stations, you process food. You go to a fast food place like McDonald's, whatever it may be. And you're getting garbage food and you're putting your body. So I have my trick. I'm going to tell you mine and then Drew can tell you his. All right, my trick is, is use technology and use what we have going on right now. So you have Uber Eats, you have Grubhub, you have all these other things like DoorDash out there, even Instacart. So these places will deliver food to you. Now you're gonna say, well, McDonald's is on there and all these fast food places, so it's the exact same thing, right? 
Well, no, because you can pick other places like restaurants and stuff like that. I, I'll give you a, a good example. I order from Cheesecake Factory every day. No, I'm not eating cheesecakes from there. But what I do order is, is from the kitty menu. You're saying, well, why, John? Why do you order from the kitty menu? Because they have the most plain and bland stuff. And at that point, that's kind of what you want to put in your body. So I get grilled chicken breasts from there with right homemade mashed potatoes. I've got myself a meal and a good meal too at that. But one of my tricks is because I'm always, just like John, always in a rush, always got to get to the gym. And I need fuel when I work out, so I never want to work out fasted. Um, I try to get a meal in and the way to hour and eat. If I can't get to like what he said, a restaurant, this and that, I'm gonna give you guys a trick for grocery stores. Every town has a grocery store. A lot of places don't have fast food places. And a lot of like these small towns you go to if you're traveling, they may not even have a, a Walmart or something like that. So right. grocery store, if you guys need a quick workout, a quick mm -hmm. something small, mm -hmm. a banana is always good. Mm -hmm. Natural peanut butter is always good. Mm -hmm. Honey's always good. You could put all three of those together. Mm -hmm. If you want to add some protein, carton egg whites, not in the shell, carton egg whites, are safe to drink straight out of the carton, mm -hmm. or you can mix those as well. So if you go in the grocery store and you grab a carton of egg whites, chug the carton of egg whites, eat your banana, a scoop of peanut butter and some honey. If you want to add to that, maybe a little bit of ground cinnamon to thin out your blood a little bit. And obviously the ECA Hercules is gonna give you a pump too. Oh yeah. But that's just basically what I do. If I'm traveling, if I'm in a hotel, I like to have oatmeal because all hotels have a microwave. Mm -hmm. And again, the liquid egg whites, they don't have to be cooked. So you can mix those right in with your oats and eat them as well. Mm -hmm. Make sure you get your fuel in before you work out mm -hmm. and make sure you have enough time after you eat so it's not gonna affect your workout so it's properly absorbed. Just my trick to go, make sure you eat and make sure you train after you eat. Don't just eat them, just yeah. stay. And guys, it's not the old model, calories in, calories out. Not all our calories are created equal, right? If I eat a piece of cheesecake and I eat a steak, it's gonna be totally different calories going in as far as macros and stuff like that. So make sure you're getting good food sources. It's not just about the calories either. It's also about the micros too. Don't just look at macros, macros. People yep. look at carbs, calories, and protein. But those micro ingredients are very important too. Yep. Look at your micros, not just your macros. Yep. And keep your sodium low and your sugar low and your lactose to almost nothing. So guys, this is just some tips and tricks from me and Drew to make you guys more healthier, perform better, and live tight and strong every day. What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome and good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcuts. I mean, you guys might even do this and not realize it, and your partner might be currently upset at you, so we might help you in that aspect. This is true. What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every Sunday at 11 a.m., we're coming at you guys to help you guys out with the best tips, tricks, and things that are going to hopefully take your relationship to the next level in all ways, shapes, and forms. And don't worry, if you're not in a relationship, you can use these things for your future relationship to make sure that you're set up for success across the board. So this week, we're gonna cover a couple things that I think all go together and that are all very important for yourself and for your relationship. Right, Cherise? Of course. So we're gonna go over three things that are very important. These three things, mental health, physical health, and sexual health. And all three of these work systemically together, right? So they all go together um, and they all play a big role in your life and quality of life each and every day. And you might not even know about it. So let's talk about some of these prime examples of these three main things of your health. So the first one. Don't be crazy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I guess that's what mental health, is that what you're that's saying? That's mental health, don't be crazy. So, so, so mental health, don't be crazy. I guess that's a little vague though, right? When we're talking yeah, about I guess, this. I, I, I could probably pinpoint some things, but yeah. Don't go crazy and don't get crazy. Yeah. Um, the big one about this too is, um, you know, having you know, a good awareness about yourself, being confident in yourself and not being down or depressed. This is where mental health really comes into play. And we have a lot of people nowadays that really do suffer from mental health issues. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a fact, even with the pandemic and everything that went on, yeah. just increased. It really has made, made it worse, you know, because a lot of people are locked inside or a lot of people, 
big one now is people are working remotely, right? Yep. And everybody thinks that, that that's like a grand thing to do. But now you're not around coworkers all day. You're not really intermingling with other people, whether it's good or bad, because we all know that workers, it could be great, or oh, yeah. you know you might want to bite their face off, whatever <laughs> it might be, right? But you're still having communication and kind of just talking it out. You might even vent to one of your coworkers or something, but you're kind of like, you know, in a little bubble and the bubble isn't always good to just be alone in the bubble all the time or, you know, just be cooped up. My mom would say, I mean, we're really made to be social people, right. And to socialize and interact with people. Um, so this is a big one. And, you know, with mental health, you know, we might not know somebody suffering from mental health issues because a lot of people try to cover it up. And there's a lot of people that are on antidepressants these days. Right. And you might not even know somebody's going through something with mental health issues, you know, until you really ask, or maybe they, there's a cry for help in some way, shape or form. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a lot of people that deal with these things uh, end up committing suicide or committing negative acts that can affect them and other people that are around them. Mm -hmm. So it's a really big thing. And if you are suffering from mental health issues, please go get help. There's plenty of people out there that you can talk to and try to, you know, see if you can get some help in a positive light. And that's what your partner should be there for too as well. Mm -hmm. So if you're somebody's partner, you should be worrying about helping them out and raising them up. It's not about dragging them down too either. So when you have a partner, you want to make sure that you're looking out for their mental health because this will ultimately could affect your relationship. Mm -hmm. It can affect the, how they are. Um, so at that point, you want to make sure that, listen, both of you guys are on the up and up. And if you see your partner getting down, or there's a bad day, because we all have bad days, right? Mm -hmm. That's your cue as a partner, a good partner, to step in and raise their spirits up. Make them feel better about themselves. Take them out and do something. You know, maybe get, if it's, a, you know, my wife or something like that, I might give her some roses, you know, take her out to dinner, do something really nice for her, you know, to make her know that A, I care, and two, raising her spirits up and morale. Honestly, you know what John does sometimes because we're too busy for dinner sometimes. Uh-huh. Mm, that helps too. Um, but we're too busy for a lot of things sometimes. Be, believe it or not, right? Uh -huh. He sometimes gives you this really big bear hug and he does it for an extra like 10 seconds, which makes me feel extra warm and fuzzy. Right. And he's like, it's going to be okay. And does this thing with he rubs my shoulders like that. And he's like, it's going to be all right. Just calm down, calm down. It's okay. And it kind of just, you know, I don't know if it's just maybe his energy that rolls off on me. I do eventually calm down. That does help me calm down a little bit more, you know? So it could be something as simple as that, believe it or not, you know, some sort of physical touch or like a hug or a kiss or whatever it might be. I mean, you may not be able to like afford to go somewhere or you might not have the time to go somewhere or you might have not have a babysitter to do something. So believe it or not, the little things, I always say the little things in life that count, those are the little things that count and they absolutely. mean something. Absolutely. So show affection to your partner. Yeah. Make sure you support them and make sure they're on track for good mental health. That's one aspect. Now the second one, physical health. So physical health is not just about putting on muscle mass, right? Going to the gym. And yeah, going to the Rah. gym, right? Physical health is a lot of different <laughs> things and it covers a wide spectrum of different activities. So physical health, obviously, you know, you want to be able to be able to do some sort of exercise, activity or stretching even like yoga, right? This is good physical activity too as well, or even walking down the street, power walking, jogging, whatever it may be, but you're stimulating your body, right? and you're making sure that your body's in good physical shape. We know that if you keep in action, right, if you keep doing things and progressively not stopping, then you're more likely to have a better life as far as that goes physically. Uh, if you sit there and like, let's say, you know, people that are dying, they lay in bed the whole time. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like you lay there and you, you know, you wither away and you die. Mm -hmm. Think about a car, you know, you always want to start them up and run them. If you don't start them up and run them, they sit there and everything starts breaking down after that. So good physical health is about doing some sort of activity or exercise. And like I said, it doesn't need to be you lifting a whole bunch of weights in the gym. Yeah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Me personally, I, my, my physical health, you know, if I want to do something, just because, you know, I want to feel good about myself too, right? Of course. Uh, and obviously, if you, you know, look good you usually will feel good about right. yourself and you'll eventually give that off to your partner too, which we'll get to next in sexual health, yeah. right? But you wanna feel good about yourself. So me personally, cause I'll tell you guys what I like to do and it doesn't require a gym, but I like my booty band, right? Cause it's easy, right? I just put on the little booty band thing. I could be watching TV and I'm just doing a bunch of little squat things. And then next thing you know, for the weekend, my butt looks 
great. I mean, it looks great. So yes, and it it's does. Easy. <laughs> And it's easy to do, right? But I mean, it's just, I like to bring up the simple things that you can do. And it could be anything. Maybe you just do some sit ups or you do some, you know, I don't know, maybe some whatever it is in your room, you know? You don't have to necessarily even go to a gym, right? Walk your dog around the block, get smell some fresh air. You'd be surprised how, how much it does for you. Right. So, and this goes right along with the mental health, a healthy body is a healthy mind, okay? So let's get into the last one sexual health. And these three things, they, they basically are building blocks together. You build them up and you'll get a, a better building per se, right? If you're building that. But sexual health. So this goes right along with mental because it's going to help mental health and it's definitely going to help physical health along with sexual health. And this is having a good sex life, right? Um, and this is with your partner or even by yourself, whatever it may be. You have, you know, you have a healthy sexual <laughs> function, right? So that means being able to perform. Mm. And for guys, this is one way, and females, it's another. But it goes right along with this. And uh, if your sexual health's not there, this could ultimately affect mental health issues. It can make you feel down about things, like I'm not good enough, what's wrong with me, whatever it may be, right? And physical health, right? If you're not able to perform, then obviously something physical is going on in the body that you need to correct or see what is going on. Mm -hmm. And um, like I said, if you have good mental health and good physical health, you're probably going to have good bedroom sexual health. Mm -hmm. Um, at that point and if you have problems in any of these areas they could be fixed most likely this could be hormones this could be a whole bunch of different things a lot of times it is hormones and it is a pretty easy fix once you get to the bottom of it and get dialed in yeah. and you'd be surprised I mean I'll, for females just alone postmenopausal females out there I mean it, it's very common but they have vaginal dryness oh, yeah. and vaginal dryness it's not going to feel good for intercourse. I mean, it's a fact. No, no. And that's just something just something simple. Same thing for guys. No sandy know? beaches. No sandy beaches for us unless you want to go to St. Petersburg, Clearwater. <laughs> um, but even the same thing for guys, right? Yeah. If you have low T, yeah. run around thinking you're okay. Yeah. Um, next thing you know, you can't perform in the bedroom, can't get an erectile, you know, you can't get erection. erection going on yeah. per se. So, you know, it's important. Or you're Everything. running out of breath. You're like, oh. You, you act like you're gonna die so <laughs> you guys take these three tips make sure you're not just worrying about your physical health but mental health and sexual health as well so that's completed the show this week we want to thank you guys for tuning in to another cupid's corner and if you guys didn't watch it live make sure you dvr it or go to youtube and check out titan medical center and see all these great episodes and more great content from me and sharice and all the titan crew here so I'm John. I'm Sheree. We'll see you next week on another Cupid's Corner. See you then.